Welcome to another one of my videos. My name is Chris Sieber, and we're going to be talking about kinematics in two dimensions or two dimensional projectile motion. So let's not waste any more time and let's get started right away. So here in this example, a ball is launched from the ground at an angle of 30 degrees. Um, so notice how this ball being launched from the ground uh, forms a 30 degree angle uh, with the ground. And we also know that the initial velocity is equal to 20 meters per second. So the initial uh, velocity of the ball being launched is equal to 20 meters per second. And given this information, we're going to answer three questions. So let's start with question number one. So here's question number one. Given this information, we need to find the max height of the ball. I'm moving on to question number two. We need to find the total time the ball is in the air. So for question number three, we're going to find the horizontal displacement of the ball. So in this problem, we're going to answer all three of these questions. And let's get started with question number one. But before I get started, I want to let you guys know that I do offer homework solutions. Um, so if you guys have any trouble with any of your homework, uh, send me pictures uh, to my email at homeworksolutions at mathmeeting.com. And I would love uh, to help you out. I'll get back to you immediately uh, with a quote. Uh, but let's not waste any more time and let's move on to question number one. All right, so question number one, we need to find the max height of the ball. And the first thing I like to do uh, with kinematics in two dimensions is separate each component into a horizontal component and a vertical component. Um, so that's what I'm going to do with this initial velocity of 20 meters per second. Uh, notice how this ball um, is moving to the right and it's also moving up. All right, so this horizontal motion to the right, I'm gonna call this velocity in the X direction. And this vertical motion up, I'm gonna call this the velocity in the Y direction. All right, and we're trying to find the max height of the ball. And the only thing we really need to find the max height is the velocity in the Y direction. And we're gonna use our trig function, so katoa, uh, to find the velocity in the y direction. We know that the, the sine of 30 is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse, or we can say that the velocity in the y direction um, is equal to our initial velocity of 20 meters per second times our sine of our angle theta, or 30 degrees. If we plug everything into this equation, we know that our velocity in the y direction is equal to our initial velocity of 20 meters per second. So I'll plug in a 20. And we know that the sine of 30, if you plug this into your calculator, is equal to 1 half. So our vertical velocity, or our velocity in the y direction, is equal to 20 times 1 half, or we could say 10 meters per second. All right, so now I'm going to erase everything just to make everything a little cleaner. And once again, we know that our velocity in the y direction is equal to 10 meters per second. All right, and this is our initial velocity. Our initial velocity in the y direction is equal to 10 meters per second. All right, so what else is given to us in this problem? Uh, we know that the acceleration in the y direction is the acceleration due to gravity, uh, which is equal to negative 9.81 meters per second squared. So our acceleration in the y direction, I'm gonna round to negative 10, just to make your calculations a little easier, is equal to negative 10 meters per second squared. And the reason why it's negative is because it's the opposite direction of our velocity. Um, so if our velocity is positive, then the acceleration has to be negative. All right, so what else is given to us? What else do we know? Well, we're trying to find the max height of the ball. And we know that the vertical velocity at the max height is equal to zero. And let me show you why we know this. Uh, this ball is going to take a parabolic path before it hits the ground. 
And we know that at this max height, that the ball is moving horizontally to the right, and it's not moving up and up or down. Okay, so we know that the vertical velocity at this point is equal to zero. Okay, so this is going to be our final velocity at the max height. So this is our final velocity at the max height. We know it's equal to zero meters per second. All right, so now we have three pieces of information, and our last fourth piece of information is what we're trying to find, the max height of the ball. So I'm going to call this max height of the ball delta y. All right, so this is what we're trying to find. And notice how all our units are consistent. Our initial velocity is in the y direction. Our acceleration is in the y direction. Our final velocity is in the y direction. And our height, delta y, is in the y direction. Which means we can use our kinematic formulas just like we did in one dimension of projectile motion. All right, so we're going to do the same thing we did um, in all my previous videos. And we're going to find uh, one of these equations to use. And we're going to use this third equation right here uh, because we have our final velocity in the y direction. We have our initial velocity in the y direction. We have our acceleration in the y direction. And we need to find our delta y instead of delta x. Okay, so our height, delta y, is going to be equal to our final velocity in the y direction squared. So I'm going to put VF for our final velocity squared minus our initial velocity in the y direction squared all over two times our acceleration in the y direction. All right, so if we plug everything into this formula, our delta y is going to be equal to our final velocity squared. Our final velocity is equal to zero. So that's zero squared minus our initial velocity squared. We know that our initial velocity is equal to 10. So it's minus 10 squared. This is all over two times our acceleration. And our acceleration due to gravity is equal to negative 10 meters per second squared. So I'm going to plug in a negative 10 for our acceleration. All right, and if we plug this into our calculators, we have zero minus 10 squared, which is equal to negative 100, over 2 times negative 10, which is equal to negative 20. Negative 100 over negative 20 is equal to positive 5. So our delta y is equal to positive 5. And our units need to stay consistent, which is in meters. All right. So what is the max height of the ball? Our solution is equal to 5 meters. I really hope that you enjoyed and learned from this video. In my next video, we're going to talk about question number two. We're going to find the total time the ball is in the air. So check that out if you want to keep on learning. Uh, once again, I do offer homework solutions. So send me an email to homework solutions at mathmeaning.com if you are interested. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next one.